The first one is always. And the reason this is on the board is to say something is always is to think perfectionistically. And only little kids think perfectionistically. It is not, imp it is not appropriate to sit and have an argument with a child. So if you're sitting and thinking shame-based and child-based and using the word always, I'm going to stop, confront that, and let you know in the best possible way without putting you down or putting me down that I don't think it's possible for me to always do anything. And can you take a look at that because I find that abusive, not useful. Okay? Unless you're able to see that, we can't continue this conversation because it's already spiraling down. It's not going to get better unless you wind up coming back from this position and essentially seeing reality or um, adult behavior. Next one is never, same thing. It's an impossibility to never treat you well or never um, uh, pick up around the house. Three is you. Starting out a statement with you is a blaming statement. So the way I want you to look at this is if you are trying to resolve a disagreement or a conflict, because conflicts don't have to be fights by any means, then what I want to do is I want to keep my respect, I want to keep your respect, I want to be looking for a solution and I don't care who wins. Okay? If I'm doing that, there is not a reason to blame. I have to realize that there are different points of view, that most things are about perception, and, and that reality is a very hard thing for all people to agree with. So I want to use I statements of how I feel or how I think, because that's going to be more accurate than you did this. And if I say you, you're already going to be defending yourself. If I say I, you're going to be tending to lean towards me. A yelling voice. The reason that this is so abusive is that energy is more than just tangible things. Energy um, emits several feet outside of your body. And if you don't believe that, imagine the last time you walked into a room where two people were fighting or two people were attracted to each other. You know in a heartbeat that it's happening. You feel it all the way across the room. If you're yelling, you're essentially verbally abusing somebody else. It's